Welcome back guys, and today I want to talk about launchers. I have here three launchers on my Retroid Pocket 2 Plus, and if you want to have the best experience, you're going to need one. So let's start by the first one, that one come with the console. But first, hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to turn on notifications, so you're not going to miss any video here on the channel. This one is the first one who come with the console, and let me show how it's work for you. Uh, here we have a limited, you know, emulation systems you can add. So that's the list. And we have a lot that's missing on it. So if you want to have the Sega Saturn, you don't have it on this menu. So you can't have that select. And a lot of systems is missing here. You can have Nintendo 64, Wii, GBA, 3DS, GB, GBC, Neo Geo, PC Engine. But a lot of systems is missing right now. Uh, look, Dreamcast is not available here. So you have a lot of not going to work in here. But first, we have something we can change and I like. I can have my name here on top and I can change it. I can put like a dark or lighting mode so I can have it white. Or I can change that to a dark thing. And I prefer dark. So, and here I have the icons. These icons, you know, that's one I select by this one. So here is gonna display only the systems I check. And here, let me start by mem. Mem, okay. Here I have the pictures, but to have this box arts download on it, was really hard and uh, I didn't like the way the things work. So I have a folder on my computer with all these box arts and I transferred that to my SD card and I changed it to the place where that it's installed on the system. So it was really hard to do it. And uh, for the box arts, it's a pain to have that done right now. And they probably will update the system, it's gonna be better. But here we have this, and you need to set up what emulation system you prefer to have. Like here I have RetroArch and the Final Burning Neo as a core. So this is my core to launch the games. And uh, I just need to press it. And that's gonna open the RetroArch the 64 version, and uh, I have the system set up already. That's work good. You can play all your games. You can go online. I have a special key here. So I press start and select, and I come to this menu where I can, you know, just do every single change I need to do. I can change the filters. I can have a best image. I can have more, you know, like a network play on it. I can come here and do an online play. But you actually, you can do that with the Heterac. You don't need to have a launch for it. The launcher make the things more easy. That's, you know, what you need. Well, it's just to have the things more easy. And I don't think this one who come with the console is easy enough to have every single ROM working perfect on the console, just because that don't download a lot of things and don't have a lot of systems. So that's missing too many things. I have here some games that's not listed and I need to come here and change a lot. So the first one who come with the console, uh, this Retroid Launcher, let's call it like this, the Retroid Launcher is not the best choice right now. And they talk like the next update is gonna be a lot of systems included on this on this one but not now so when you open your box when you get the hang home you're not gonna have all oh, you need to update but that's another thing i'm gonna cover when they launch the update and uh, dig dig come prime style on this console and you can update that this is a 10 a 10 who i install and uh, acts like you have uh we you know, it's a beautiful one. I like this one. And you can have it, it's free. And you have some functions, you can try, so you can pick three functions for free. And if you need more, you need to pay for it, like for a lot of things. But here we have assistance. Okay, and here we have Android, and that's gonna show the emulation and games I have installed on my console. And here we have the box arts 
And there's one work better to download the things you can download from Google and it's gonna move the box art to the directory, the right one. But I don't like this one here because sometimes we have a problem and the theme just disappear when you come here and where you can see now here, revive, that's disappear and become empty. And when that's happened, you lose everything, like just the settings, not the games. You need to go and install it again. That's happening all the time with me. Leave a comment if that happened to you. And uh, I like I like this one, but I have some problems. That's making, you know, don't like enough to use. But here you can set up like the other things we did. And uh, here we have GoldenEye 007. And we have a lot of games, but I don't like the, you know, the this kind of launcher where we can't search for a game. I like others launcher because you can search for a game, you know. But here's beautiful. You have the box art. You have uh, pictures, so you have more about the game in here. We you have some screenshots that's changing, and you can play the game. That's gonna open the emulation, you know. And uh, it's easy. At the end, is something easy. You can use Dig. That's going to work. Have a lot of teams to download. And easy to use. So let me going to cover another one. I have here the last one. The Reset Collection. The Reset Collection is the best one for me. But we still have some problems. Oh, you're going to have some problem. But here, I like more this one because we have a search box. You can come here and look for a ROM that you want to play. So let me open here and put zero, zero, no, zero, zero, seven. And just search for it. And you know, you have all the games with zero, zero, seven you have installed. And you can launch anyone from here. You can scan for more games. If you put more games, just open and scan. And you have the option when you have three versions, like I have European, the Japan, <laughs> sorry, Japan and the USA. So I can play the USA version. Okay, so this is perfect. It's open, it's working, it's good. You know, I like this one. I really like it. The Reset Collection for me is the one work better. Let me as it. As it. And here we back. And I have this function that's help a lot. Sometimes when you have a broken game, you launch a broken game. Let me try my luck and pick a game, a random game. This is amazing. Man. So if you don't know what you're gonna play, just pick a random one and you're gonna be inside of this and they you know the system pick a game for you that's amazing i really like it okay this is a deep suite and that's happening when you play uh emulation so here bomb jack bomb jack is the game i pick it by randall look it's amazing man. it's amazing i like it to have a random game, so I can try something new. I never had that before. I I know I read this name sometimes, but I never played this before. I really, I don't know this one. So let me close it. Oh, it's a retroact. I need to use this key. Quit. And now I can come in again and pick a random game. So now we have another one. This is help a lot when you don't know what you want to play. Just pick a random game and you're gonna know a new game in me. I have a really big collection here. I put a 128 SD card, 128 gigabyte, and that have a lot of games. So if you wanna play something new, just give it a try with the random tool. And this reset collection is not a free one, okay? You need to pay for that. So pay attention what you're gonna have. And uh, if you're looking for something like a really specific, you need to find it before you buy. And I pay $5 for it. I think it's $4.99, I pay $5 for it. And uh, for me, it's the best one. 
this will work with the art covers. You can come here, press A, and uh, set them later. You can change them later for it. You can scan for new games. You can set artwork. It's really help me. It help a lot. This help a lot. I don't know who did this one, this front end, but it's really good. So if you want something good, go with this one. This one is gonna help you a lot. But if you wanna try something for free, I recommend Dig. Don't go with the Retroid one right now. Let's see the next update. And uh, please don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to the channel, and uh, leave a comment what you want to see on my next video because I need to cover everything. I know you guys ask me a lot to try for new games, but I need to bring some content for you different only from games, you know. I have some games like every day here, but sometimes I need to bring a tutorial or something like this one. It's a showcase for, you know, front ends. And please, if you enjoy my content, hit the like. That's help. That's really help the channel. Okay, and subscribe to the channel. You watch my content, you like it, you enjoy. Hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thank you. I'm seeing you on the next video. Bye-bye.